Hi there, Lloyd Macedo, speaking to you from LloydMacedo.com. Who's Lloyd Macedo? Think Parcel Branding. Okay, Bitcoin, back in the news again. I read the article, I'll give you the key points. Uh, if you want to read the article, links are put down below. Okay, so what does it say? Let me go to the uh, my notes. So here it says, ECB says Bitcoin is on the road to irrelevance amid crypto collapse. I'll give you my thoughts also. You can also tell me whether you agree or disagree. Now, okay, the, the European Central Bank, it says that Bitcoin is on the road to uh, irrelevance. I, I don't think so. Okay, even though I'm not a Bitcoin, Bitcoin fan or cryptocurrency fan, I totally against it, uh, especially the way it is used, the way it is hyped, the way celebrities are, you know, endo bringing up new coins. It's, uh, you, you know, um, uh, Nurel, what is his name? Nurel Ibrani or something. Uh, N O U R I E L Rubini. Nurel Rubini is a Turkish American economist. I love listening to his talks. Okay, he's totally against the cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, the way it is going. Now, that doesn't mean we, uh, people like me, we don't believe that there is a technology that can be useful like blockchain that can be used. But the nonsense of NFT, take the screenshot of this image and uh, you'll owe digital rights. This board ape, you buy it for uh, 1 million, 40 million, 100 million, those 5,000, what is that? That idiot who purchased 5,000, this thing for 165 million. All this is, it is nothing but, you know, it's a fraudulent, scammy, unregulated business. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I draw something digitally and I sell it to you for 1 million. What? What are you going to use? That? Oh, it's an investment. Investment to what? So anyway, so I'm not, I don't endorse all this. I'm totally against cryptocurrency, all that nonsense. But like I told you, I believe blockchain has a use. We don't know what it is even now. I believe that uh, cryptocurrencies can be useful, but we still do not know what for. This nonsense that was going on in the market, uh, you know, bringing up new coins, new cryptocurrencies, that was greed in action. People are gambling. And now everyone has lost. Okay. So when the European Central Bank says that, you know, like Bitcoin, the, it is an artificially induced last gasp before the road to irrelevancy, they have a point. Okay. But now is it going to vanish and disappear? I doubt Bitcoin is going to vanish and disappear. See, as of now, uh, you know, Bitcoin at its peak was at $70,000. One Bitcoin, $70,000. Now it has come to, it came down to $16,000. And now, you know, uh, since the collapse of FTX, it is at 20,000. That's where it's remaining. Now, can it go lower? Possible. Can it go higher? Uh, you know, you just don't know the fo forces in the market, but I doubt it's going to go higher anytime soon because especially one by one, all these uh, cryptocurrency exchanges, companies, all these so-called, even Coinbase, even all these big, big companies that wanted to legalize and, you know, kind of give legitimacy, they are suffering, they are hemorrhaging billions, okay? So, you know, they try to bring about a sense, they try to bring about rules, regulations to regulate it. They wanted it to be a kind of exchange like how we were doing commodities, but it's going to fail. And See, if you see all my videos that I put with in terms of cryptocurrency, I've made so many videos and I told you it is going to crash. I told you it is a Ponzi scheme. The It is very simple. I asked very simple logical questions, which none, not a single cryptocurrency enthusiast answered. I asked them a simple question. You have a Bitcoin. Okay, it's supposed to be cryptocurrency. Satoshi Nakamoto created it so that it could be used as currency without having the banks. Who's using it as currency? Now, if you have a Bitcoin, if you buy something, just within the next few hours, the value of that Bitcoin is going to go 20%. Then you'll be like, bloody hell, I gave him 20% more. And then the next day, it goes 40% higher. Then you'll be like, sheesh, man, I overpaid for this, let's say, car. 
then day after tomorrow it goes double then you like, oh sheesh i i paid what the car could have cost maybe 16000 today that same bitcoin that i paid 16000 is a 32000 so nobody if anyone purchases a bitcoin they are hoping that they purchase it at the lowest price possible and they have the i don't know wisdom or the luck to sell it at the highest price possible like most of the people who are the ones very rich they purchase bitcoin at $100 or $900 or even a $1000 so imagine if you purchased say one bitcoin of $1000 value that time you purchase 10 so if you purchase 10 bitcoins for a $1000 okay that means spend $10000 when it went up to 70000 if you had sold those 10 bitcoins from $10000 you have got $700000 that's nearly a million you can just retire and live the rest of your life with that i mean obviously you can't retire because 700000 will get spent but you can live a very good life i know so many so many people who flew to dubai because they would get in touch with me take my advice and all that and they would tell me they are into crypto you know they had a bank balance literally they would show me screenshots that they have 1 million 14 million some uh, the highest i've seen is 200 million in not just bitcoin various cryptocurrencies and they went to dubai so they didn't have to pay taxes they didn't have to reveal where did they get this money from i'm in touch with one guy who invested a lot of money in bitcoin he is a multi millionaire today and lucky for him he doesn't have to bother because he sold the bitcoin when it, not bitcoin cryptocurrencies when it was at his peak he has a small nest but now he's like oh, i wish i'd sold that also but he's very comfortable i have two three other clients who get in touch with me on and off and they have retired to some third world countries to cut down their overheads now those people are fine but the rest of everybody else in the last 5 years everybody else who got in they after they invested it went up and they were like oh you know kathy wood and all those people said one bitcoin will become 1 million one bitcoin will become 10 million one bitcoin will be 100 million so nobody wanted to sell eventually what happened they held on to it hoping it will go higher higher and when it started to crash they like oh shish i better not sell it now or i'm selling at a loss and imagine people who bought it at 60000 and today it is at 20000 nobody is going to sell it they just going to be like oh shish man i might as well just keep this I also know of one individual who took a bank loan, multiple, and invested in crypto. And now he just vanished. He, the last call that we had, paid session, he told me he doesn't know what to do. He is thinking of suicidal thoughts. So anyway, coming to this, the you know the the problem now is all these people who have invested, they have lost. So now the banks, what they want to do is, you know, this Bitcoin should either be ban which i doubt can be successful or what they are thinking is um this they should have new regulations where bitcoin should not be there you either use it as payment or you don't use it as anything else and if you are putting it as investment they want the government regulation so strong that the person who is investing it's transparent who is the person where is he from he, they have to even pay taxes in india they started that so nobody wants to invest in bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency so overall what i feel in a nutshell what this article is trying to say is they are trying to see now how they can either control this and put it under the government preview or they don't want it around because so many people lost their money so many people did so many illegal things so many ponzi schemes were there so many celebrities endorsed this product without having any accountability so much of nonsense was going on and many people think oh you're jealous you didn't make money no this was unethical the whole fiasco was unethical yeah who doesn't want to make money that's a different question altogether but the way the cryptocurrency market was you know not regulated who's controlling it you can come out with the coin they came out with cum coin uh moon coin sun coin uh, even shit coin doge coin what happened with doge coin what in all elon musk was saying so anyway listen uh, end of the day i think the governments have had enough 
and uh, they just want to put a stop to it i'll just end by giving you this last paragraph which i think is worth sharing the bank of england's deputy governor sir john cunliff cunliff okay he said there should be regulation for cryptocurrencies okay and the bank itself is hindered in its ability to take action why because in uh, 2021 when rishi sunak was the chancellor he launched a task force to check the potential of a digital pound and later he has a royal mint to create the government's first nft which is bullshit the token thankfully has not been sold and uh, and the reason for this is and they've decided not to even think about it is because the crypto market has fallen by 70% since sunak issued that order so even governments like what happened to panama that that idiot with the cap the other way around what is it uh, panama uh, which bitcoin city el salvador el salvador bitcoin yeah uh, el salvador what happened to that guy uh, his country is destroyed so anyway uh, you let me know your thoughts do you think uh, cryptocurrency is it still going to be relevant do you think governments are going to come together and just get this done with um do you think the prices are going to go up i don't see at least for the next possible future at least 5 years that's what i would say 5 years not going to go up until they come up with something new or some new uh game plan some trick to you know because greed never ends but i'll i can assure you this much uh the people who jump into it this time the government will keep a an eye and make sure that you know people made money will also make money it's not just you they will tax them and that is why like this you know the golden era is done and dusted this was a tulip mania that was just once in a lifetime it's not going to happen ever again anyway let me know your thoughts in the comments below good bad ugly love to hear from you you guys take care